welcome back to my garage. A uh, quick video here, uh, kind of an update to my previous videos about my American Heritage Performance cylinder heads and camshaft install. Uh, about halfway through the install, I stopped by the shop and picked up my factory heads and uh, brought them here and got them right here on the workbench and uh, did like a visual wiggle test on how bad the valves were and uh, they looked pretty bad. And uh, since then, I sent those heads to Coley at American Heritage Performance and he actually put a, cal a, a gauge on it to measure the, uh, the raw numbers of, of how that is. So I'm going to show that video here uh, as well as uh, with, each, with, with each valve, I'm going to show the numbers that Coley gave me. So uh, here they are. Okay, we're going to start with the driver side cylinder head. Front going to the back. Okay, let's check out the passenger side. So again, we're going to go front to back. Definitely um, worth fixing, worth replacing. Pretty bad, huh? So going by that, those were raw numbers. Um, usually, according to Coley, I'm looking at the email here, the raw wiggle test results are roughly half of what the actual dial bore and mic measurements are. That means that any raw wiggle test results, uh, 0 0.008, are at the very end of their service spec and any raw wiggle test measurement 0 0.009 or over are out of spec. That means that every single intake valve was out of spec and almost every single exhaust valve was also out of spec. Keep in mind, this is again, this is a 9,900 mile car that had been babied its whole life. Now I think that's pretty sad that a car with a hand-built engine and it was their flagship engine at one point with a $70,000 price tag at 9,900 miles was well on its way to being uh, very small metal pieces all over the road. It's real tragic. So bottom line is I'm glad I got this done. American Heritage Performance was awesome to work with. Uh, Boost Addicts is also awesome to work with there in Madison, Tennessee who did the installation. Um, it was money well spent. I still encourage anybody who's got an LS7 engine, if you haven't had them fixed, not just tested, but fixed, do it right away. Otherwise, you're, you're, like I said before, you're really rolling the dice. That's my advice. Take it for what you, what you want, but uh, I am going to be back in future videos, of course, with some driving impressions of this car. 
Um, obviously, I haven't posted very many of them because I haven't been really wanting to drive it before the heads got fixed. Now that they're fixed, I'm going to have some fun. I've also got some appearance upgrades coming too. So like I say, if you haven't done, done so before, hit that subscribe button. It's really easy. And then you'll be uh, notified of when I release future videos. And in fact, uh, my next video is going to be announcing the dyno results and the winners of the Corvette shirt and hat. If you don't know what I'm talking about, see my previous video. I'll see you then. Yeah! <laughs>